group of people have gone. I didn't hear you say that. Like that. Is this excessive for one night? <laughs> okay, influencers banned from promoting health products from vitamins to skincare. Guys, I got my freaking period. everyone happy monday i've already had my oats i feel like i've just filmed making them way too much especially my last one i think i actually had to like cut out a day where i filmed it i was like twice is enough people get it you have protein oats every single day so i had that this morning um peter's actually gone to get my car a road worthy because i need to um transfer my plates over from WA to Queensland, so bless him, he's doing that today. Um, the weather, oh my God, I'm feeling for you guys in Brisbane, especially like the floods are insane. Like I literally don't think it stopped raining last night. My apartment, I was just about to say is flooding. It's not flooding. It's um, leaking. I'm gonna have to go to management because yeah, it's not like, really bad but it's obviously still leaking from the roof i think it stopped actually oh no it's still probably won't be able to... yeah and there's it's leaking here like on the side yep so that's what's happening but obviously not complaining because people's freaking houses are being bloody flooded, which is so scary. Like I couldn't even imagine. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe. Just make sure you stay away from the floods. Um, I've seen so many stupid TikToks of people like swimming in like the flood waters and bloody driving through them. Like you can literally die from floods. Like floods are so freaking dangerous. Um, so yeah, I don't even know why that shit's coming up on my TikTok, to be honest, but yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe. Really hope the rain stops soon because yeah, it's really scary, like especially in Brisbane. Um, anyways, yeah, a lot of businesses are clo like closed today. Um, I know Essentials is closed. Well, a couple of the classes that I was going to go to this morning because of the road closures here on the Gold Coast. So yeah, hopefully it settles. It is saying that it's sunny on Wednesday, which I honestly can't picture. Anyways, um, so yeah, today I'm pretty much just going to be like working from home like I normally do. I'm going to go to Riley's warehouse this afternoon. We've got a little HGH meeting, Hot Girl Habits. Um, which is exciting. So yeah, we're gonna, we need to organize everything. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Just working from home, chilling. Um, oh, we are going to see the warehouse today at 12 o'clock. Um, I'm gonna measure up some of the walls and the space so I can start buying furniture again. Well, round two. Um, by the way, I haven't heard back from the bank about, did I tell you guys? that um a website that i bought furniture from went into liquidation so i've just lost three and a half grand um i did i mention it on here maybe i didn't anyways i posted on tiktok nv nv space that couch that everyone's posting about like i'll leave it here plus a coffee table and a side table all for the warehouse although if i did like the coffee table i would have had it here but it's not coming. Um, yeah, I got an email the other week saying that they are going into liquidation. So I was like, love that for me. Um, I contacted my bank because I did pay by credit card to see if they can do some sort of charge back. It's been about 10 days, so I think I need to follow up with them um, today because they said it can take up to 10 days for them to like process. So I might follow up with them today and see if there's been any progress with that but yeah so far I've lost three and a half grand so yeah nothing I can really do so now I'm just gonna have to go shopping again um I did find this website that does have a similar 
um, couch, but it's not that like, what's that boucle fabric, which is what I wanted to match my huggy chair, but it kind of worked out in my favor because I feel like boucle is like sort of starting to like phase out. Um, and yeah, I'm looking at like a different material now, which is what they have on the website. So I'm going to do my research on this website. Um, see if I know anyone that's actually bought from it before I buy another expensive couch again. Um, and then just get that one, I think. So yeah, I needed some research today, which I might actually put in my research on my to-do list. Um, what else? Oh my God. Okay. So was it last week or the week before? No, it was the week before guys. I got my freaking period. Um, I don't even know why I didn't mention it in the vlogs, like when it was actually happening. Honestly, I, maybe I thought I did, but then I just realized I haven't. I haven't even shared it on Instagram either, so I'm not sure what's happened there. Um, got my period and like, was it to do with those tablets that I was taking? I don't know, but it pretty much happened like a week and a half after I started taking them. So, I mean, I'm still taking them every single day so we'll see if i get a regular period again in two weeks and i'll make sure i update you but yeah it wasn't heavy it wasn't painful it was just like actually it was heavier than usual i've never really suffered thank god from painful periods like i've never had like really bad cramping that i'm like in agony on the couch with a heat pack i've never never had that um thankfully because oh, i could just imagine um so yeah, it was just like a little bit heavier than usual. Like I woke up and I didn't even know I had it. I wiped and I was like, that's really TMI. And I was like, what the hell? Like I was not expecting it. So obviously I wasn't prepared. And yeah, I was like, what the hell? It lasted about four to five days, which was normal. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna wait for my other one, but that, that's good. I'm gonna um, continue to take those tablets. They were the JS Health PMS and hormone tablets. I'll continue to take them, but I obviously ultimately want to get my period without having to take any sort of supplements. So I'll take them until they finish and then I'll see if my periods can just become regular without having to take them, which is the goal. Um, so yeah, that happened. Very happy about that. Who would have thought I'd be happy about getting a period after like five months. What else have I just like sneakily not shared with you guys? Like that's pretty rude. I feel so rude <laughs> not sharing because yeah, I talk about literally everything. Um, I think that's it. I think you're all up to date. Anyways, I'm going to stop recording before I just keep talking for the next 20 minutes because I mean, I could, um, and actually get changed and get on with the rest of the day. Um, oh yeah, by the way, thank you for all of your comments last video, just in regards to like my content and stuff like that. I even got a message from Riley, which like, she never usually, like we're the type of friends that like don't hug. We don't really like, we're not like an affectionate best friend. We're more like a sister sort of best friend friendship. But yeah, anyways, yeah, she even sent me a message this morning that like brought a tear to my eye because I was just like, Bless. Basically, she said that um, like I deserve every opportunity that comes my way and not to doubt myself. Like, you know, I've been putting myself out there for the past like six plus years and helped so many people, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, I actually needed to hear that. Anyways, I was obviously reading your comments as well. And I was just like, stop. Anyways, why am I crying? I literally hate crying, especially on camera, but like some of your messages I actually don't deserve you. Honestly, like after reading some, I'm just like, how did I even get so lucky? I don't usually write comments, but after watching you talk about your why, I thought I would jump on and say why I log in every Monday to watch your vlogs. For me personally, I feel like we are friends. I started following you on Insta a few years ago when you were deep in keto and had just started it. You were an inspiration to me and I absolutely loved your content and still absolutely do. However, that wasn't the reason why I stayed. I stayed because you are, you are vibrant, you are confident, you are funny. I feel like we would be friends in real life. I'm invested in your life in a non-creepy way, but I can understand your current creative rut. I just 
just know that there's a lot of us sorry just know that there is a lot of us that show up to watch your vlogs and stories because we actually give a shit about you and you as a person and not just because you were some makeup guru slash keto guru you're in a different path now with your business etc and you are growing up i'm here for it and i find it truly motivating and inspiring thank you for being real and showing up each week with your vlogs that you might not think are as good as what they used to be but for a lot of us it's enough you're amazing i don't even know if i'm going to keep this bit in because like i said i absolutely hate crying on camera and coming across as like intention seeking but i don't know like yeah, like I said last week, like the past um, few months, I just feel like I haven't been enough. Like, to be completely honest, I'm just like, are people even like enjoying my content? And like, that's what's made me like so upset because like I genuinely love posting video. But yeah, I have definitely put pressure on myself um, the past few months on social media, which is not something that I've, um, I guess, felt before like I just because I've always known what I need to be posting or what I should be posting and this is like the first time in a while that I'm just like not sure on what I'm like meant to be really doing online reading all of your messages is kind of just like reassured me that you know I am just meant to be doing what I'm doing like right now whether it be bloody talking about my period or I don't know making my bed I just want to say thank you so much for actually like taking the time out of your day to like leave a nice comment or a message like I actually read all of my DMs but yeah I just wanted to actually say thank you so much for sticking around and following me and watching my videos and supporting me and trusting me actually okay we're here I've got my measuring tape it's so glary I need to get my sons actually okay here's my fit wait maybe I should put it on here so you can see imagine if the real estate guy came and saw that's not working is it anyways this is my fit Sasky pants skims top but yeah we're just waiting on the real estate guy to come and let us in but everything's all gated everything's all done but we're just still waiting on council approval so i'm gonna ask today and see how how they're going but yeah it looks good I'm really excited but yeah i'll keep you updated anyways been the best vlogger today but um I actually went and did my Queensland passport transfer transferred from WA to Queensland aka just got a new license um and I didn't realize I didn't get it straight away so they've got to obviously like um post it to me within the next like week or so really curious to see what the photo is going to look like but Anyways, and then I went and visited Riley at her warehouse, which is the first time I went there. And we just discussed some hot girl habit things. We've got some exciting things happening. Um, yeah, so we just like wrote up a little plan for that. Um, and yeah, we've got a lot to organize for the next like week or so, um, which is really exciting. Uh, I'm sure you guys will find out about it soon on Instagram or on the Facebook group if you aren't already a member if you aren't already a hot girl go on to hot girl habits on Facebook you'd be the first to know what is happening so that's really exciting I'm just actually heating up a I keep thinking it's muscle chef it's called chef go what the fuck was that it literally sounded as if someone just jumped on my balcony so No one's jumped on my balcony. <laughs> Must be the upstairs. Anyways, as I was saying, I yeah, I'm just heating up a 
chef good meal. I have finished all of my HF meals for the week. I think I'm getting one again next week, actually. Was it next week or the week after? Anyways, yeah, I'm getting HelloFresh again. Um, Peter's actually going back to Perth on Friday this week. So, to be honest, I'm probably going to have hour-long vlogs back again because I'm going to be bored out of my brain. <laughs> um, while he's away, he'll be away for the next few weeks, just finishing off work. Um, and then... Yeah, that's basically it. I really wanted to go for a walk, but I think it's about to piss down with rain. So I might go down to the treadmill and get some steps in because I haven't exercised today. Not really much else to update you guys on or fill you guys in on anything. Oh yeah, we went in and um, saw the warehouse, did a few measurements. I asked them like when they think we can move in and they were like, we just, we have no time frame. Like they just give us no like nothing until like a day or two before they're ready to settle. So that's my wrap, probably burning in the sandwich press. Um, they were like, oh, it shouldn't be too much longer, but they literally said that three weeks ago. So I'm not gonna believe <laughs> what they say. Cause yeah, like I said, who bloody knows, but let's just hope that it's sooner rather than later. I need to get a few things from Coles actually. I need some berries and I really wanna make um, you know that noodle dish, I want to kind of like recreate it. Like it's the poached chicken, brown rice, and then like a curry sauce. But I'm thinking of making it like satay curry sauce, add some peanut butter. I reckon that would be amazing. So I've accumulated a list and Peter said he's going to grab it for me. Oh yeah, cute. That is bloody hot. Anyways, I have gotten a couple of messages asking what my thoughts are on the new TGA, um, what is it, the TGA approved guidelines for, oh, let me actually get the post up. Okay, influencers banned from promoting health products from vitamins to skincare in latest TGA crackdown. Um, Hold on, let me just, I just got a really important email reply. What? That is hot. Influencers banned from promoting health products from vitamins to skincare in the latest TGA crackdown. I feel like the original post that went viral online was a bit clickbaity because I guess like there is some truth in it. It's not completely true basically influencers can promote the products that were listed aka skincare what was it like spf protein powders vitamins but they can't they can but they can't actually say oh for example pull someone coming on and doing sponsored stories for a skincare product saying oh my god this moisturizer is amazing it's helped my eczema we're not able to actually say that anymore we're basically only able to say what the product claims to do i definitely see the reasoning behind it and so far it hasn't actually affected me in terms of my sponsorships i i have had a few like contracts modified like with the brief and stuff like that but so far it hasn't affected me but we'll see what i want to know is Who's actually going to be policing this? Kind of similar to um, the whole disclosing ads thing that came into effect a few months ago, or maybe even longer, um, that all influencers must disclose um, whether they're getting paid to promote something by writing ad um, in partnership with or whatever. I've been doing that for as long as I can remember, even before we had to do it. But then again, I still see some influencers not. So like, I just feel like with this being put into place, like who's actually, unless someone actually goes out of their way to report someone, I just don't really see how it's gonna be monitored. Anyways, um, that was actually quite nice. I'm gonna go do some work on my laptop. Um, and yeah, I will show you guys dinner if I end up making 
that chicken dish. Okay, let's actually see if it tastes like noodle. Looks like noodle. Although I added broccoli. I think I overcooked the poached chicken. Whoa. The flavor of the curry is actually pretty similar. I truly like it. I didn't think I would like coconut milk, but it's really nice. I've got some pan choy, bok choy. What's pan choy? What is it? Pak. Pak choy. So yum. I'll post the recipe down below. Good morning, everyone. Oh my god, that was the best walk ever. It's so nice to see some sun and blue skies after the past, like, I'd say, like, week or so. It's just, like, I haven't literally gone for a walk outside in so long. Um, also, little update um, on my, I guess, like, newest employee. Um, I think I may have found someone, which I'm really excited about. Um... I'm just gonna, I'm obviously gonna wait until I'm like settled into the warehouse because right now I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, when it comes to the warehouse, so yeah, I wanna sort that out, get furniture and get like all the tables set up. Um, and yeah, and then I'll organize to maybe go meet up with her for a coffee, see what she's like, get the vibe. And then yeah, hopefully all is good because from what I see, she looks amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. Also, the bottles might be coming next week. So I'll keep you updated on that. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited for the next couple of weeks. I'm actually going to message him right now and see if he's got an update, surely. I'm going to drive home now. I'm going to go to the post office first, actually. And then make brekkie because I am starving. Hello. I feel like the majority of the vlog's been in this exact spot <laughs> that I'm sitting at. But um, I actually spent the morning putting together like a donation pile for clothes, blankets, just stuff that I don't need. Makeup, skincare for those affected in like the Byron Bay Lismore Brisbane flood so I need to drop that off tomorrow I filled up like one massive like I guess sack of clothes I actually just realized it's the first of March that's actually scary because I feel like it was January yesterday but um oh I forgot that I'm going to Pilates this afternoon at 4 30 okay anyways I will talk to you guys a bit later Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday today. Um, I am just about to go into an essentials class. I can't wait to get my nails on. This is like the worst they've ever gone. Like I never lose, like normally lose as many nails. Oh my God, they look so stumpy. <gasps> oh my God, I would never not have nails. Um, yeah, I organized uh, my donation. Pile. I've got this massive, huge bag full of clothes, skincare, makeup, toiletries um, for those that are in. I think um, Lottie is taking them to Byron, Tweed, or Lismore. There's like a drop off area, but yeah, she's volunteered to like grab everyone's stuff and take it. Um, 
to wherever they need it. Um, so if you are on the Gold Coast, look up Essentials Studio. Um, and they've got all the information on their Instagram if you're wanting to donate something. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and take that. It's so heavy, so I'm going to have to like drag it on the floor because I can't pick it up. <laughs> um, what else is on today? That's it, apart from my nails. I'm so excited. Um, Got to pack orders. That's pretty much it. We might be staying in Brisbane on the Thursday night just because Peter flies out on Friday morning, like kind of early. So to save us getting up like even earlier to drive from Gold Coast to Brisbane, we just thought we'd stay the night in Brisbane. So yeah, I'm not sure about like the roads or if there's any like road closures or anything, but maybe we stay like near the airport because I think that's clear. Um, yeah, maybe book dinner or something, but yeah it's not really like for leisure it's just mainly for convenience so yeah that is the plans what else i don't think there's much else going on in my life actually Vic came over last night and had dinner we watched married at first sight nothing really important or interesting to be honest so yeah i'm gonna go make my way to the studio with the clothes and do my workout. I'm gonna go and get my nails done now. I just did my makeup real quick. Loving it. Um, I had to actually take a Uber because Peter's doing some stuff with the car today. So yeah, I'm just gonna take an Uber to Onyx, but I'm really excited. We're gonna do a little fun TikTok. Hopefully it turns out like we want it to. It's like a little choose my nail design thing. I'll show you guys if we successfully do it. Oh. He is almost here, so I'm gonna go. I'll show you guys my nails when I get home. I'll probably leave my vlog camera here, just because it gets a bit bulky in my bag. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys my nails. Hello, good morning, happy Thursday. I'm just whispering because Peter's still asleep. I'm just getting ready. Putting my new shoes on. Um, yeah, I'm about to go to, I think it's called Fusion Burn. And then I've got a one-on-one -on -one with Lottie, but Riley might come as well, so that'll be fun. Um, like after the burn class, I'll do my one-on-one -on -one, like boxing session with Lottie. Um, and then tonight we're actually going to Brisbane um, because I've got to drop Peter off to the airport really early on Friday. So we thought may as well just stay there on Thursday because there might be like traffic and stuff like with the floods and all of that. So. Yeah, we're gonna stay somewhere. We haven't booked it yet, lol. <laughs> gonna book somewhere today, surely. Probably just like Meriton or like something. Um, oh yeah, cute. I'll show you guys the fit. Maybe from here. Um, this is a Stax set that I'm wearing. It's actually so nice. This is, I'm pretty sure it's like umber. Cause I'm pretty sure I've seen this color before. Um, yeah, I love it so much. I love the mini length and I've just paired it with an oversized tee because you guys know I'm obsessed. Um, I actually did order some essentials merch like from the studio. I ordered like a um, gray oversized tee with like essential studio on it, which I'm gonna pick up today, hopefully if they've got them. Um, so I'll start wearing that one. Um, what else? What's the time actually? Let's see if Riley's even awake. Oh, she's probably not awake yet. Um, but yeah, I need to pack my bags today. I got woken up at literally 4.30 this morning from the thunder. It was so loud and the rain, holy shit. I had to wake up and put a towel in the spare room because the roof's leaking. So, yeah. 
Um, hopefully it doesn't rain too much while we're in Brisbane because I'm just going to have to like layer towel. Oh my God, did I show you my nails? I don't think I did because I was too focused on the TikTok. Oh, I cut myself getting um, boxes out from the balcony. But minus the cut, they're so cute. Oh my God, look. Because <laughs> I normally have my ring stacked on this finger. So like now it looks funny if I've just got one ring. That is so funny. It's like indented and tanned. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're my nails. Oh, really, really cute vibes. So yeah, I need to go drop off stuff to the post office. And yeah, I get my shit sorted pretty much. I also put on Bondi Sands last night. Just the, actually no, it wasn't the Aero. It was a one hour express mousse and I forgot how much I loved Bondi Sands. Do you remember when that's all I would ever use? Bondi Sands. And I now remember why I love it so much. I think it just works really well on my skin tone. Like I, I know a lot of people say it's really green, but like it, it works for me. Um, I've been using on rotation. I've got the Bali body, um, three warriors, which I just ran out of. Um, and then I just got this in PR, the Bondi Sands. So I think I'm going to be using this from now on. I really want to try the Loving Tan, the platinum one. Um, apparently that's really good and really dark. So if I see that in store, I'll buy it and let you know. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go now. I'm procrastinating. <laughs> um, and yeah, I will catch up with you later. for one night because I can't find my smaller suitcase and this is all I've got so watch me fill it up for absolutely no reason actually I could do my stacks haul when I get there so maybe I do need a room okay well I ended up booking Meriton also how cute is this little essentials merch tea from the studio love it cute little oversized moment um yeah so i'm gonna pack now shit um yeah i didn't even know what i was gonna say i just had breakfast when i got home i just had the usual um and yeah i'm just gonna pack and then just gonna go do a few things peter needs to go get a rapid uh covid test because he needs one upon arrival to perth so we're going to go find one of those. I'm pretty sure the post office actually sells them, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go pack now and I will probably chat when I'm in Brisbane. We have made it to Brisbane. Apparently there's meant to be a massive storm tonight, like early in the morning. I'm scared. Actually, I need to put socks and shoes on long. <laughs> I was going to go down in slides. Um, yeah, we're going to go for dinner tonight. I think we're going to go to... We're gonna try and get into SK and Oyster. Already got tan on my new shoes. What's new? Okay, here's my outfit. I've had this corset for ages. It's from With Jean. And then these pants I literally always wear from local European. Okay, we're gonna go try our luck. If we can't get in, we'll probably just go to Hellenica because I saw that they've got a booking tonight at 8 30. i just quickly curled my hair as well cute even though i look a bit like a poodle <laughs> Hey guys, I just went and dropped Peter off to the airport and just drove to Rabina. I'm going to go and buy some stuff to donate um, to Baby Give Back. 
So they are wanting like shampoos, conditioners, baby wipes, like toothpaste and like essential sort of stuff. Let me just like double check. Okay, I've just gone to Stax and Kmart and got a bunch of like fresh towels, some hand towels. I've got some toothpaste. Well, that's toothpaste, toothbrushes, some antibacterial deodorant soap. That's handy. I couldn't find any roll-on deodorants. Um, and then just shampoo and conditioner. I drop these off now to Varsity, to Baby Give Back. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys what sort of stuff that I am putting in the box. John Duncan Court, Varsity Lakes. Okay, I'm going to put them on maps now. And like I said, I will leave this information down below as well for you guys. I am home. I'm just unpacking my suitcase. I was just thinking like, I can't remember the last time I've been alone. Like literally just a night alone or a day alone. Like I'm being dead serious. I'm actually trying to think it would be like literally three years or maybe even longer. Like, I can't remember the last time I just spent a whole day and night alone. And, like, not going to lie, it, like, it feels good just to be, like, it just reminds me of when I was doing long distance with Peter and I'd be here and he'd be in Perth and, um, like, I'd be going back and forth and I'd be alone in this apartment all the time and I'd be vlogging, like, 24-7 because I'd always be alone. And it's just, like, nice sometimes just to be with yourself and just do what you want to do like I'm the type of person that likes being alone I like going to the shops alone um like grocery shopping or just like I don't know browsing just shopping in general like I actually like being with myself um, um that's probably the one thing I did like about um long distance but um yeah like I'm actually really looking forward to just chilling out for the rest of the afternoon doing what I need to do emails probably edit this vlog, um, clean up the apartment. But yeah, I just had that thought randomly. Like I got home and I was just like, this feels so weird. Cause I just am never alone. So yeah, anyways, um, I also read that baby give back, which is the, um, place that I just donated all that stuff to is accepting like Coles and Woolworths orders. So I'm going to actually place an order tonight and have it delivered to their warehouse. It's just in Varsity Lakes here. Um, yeah, I'm going to do like nappies and all the other stuff that I couldn't actually manage to get today because there's only one of me and I was just like struggling even with what I had in the shop. But yeah, I'm definitely going to do like a massive like nappy baby food type shop tonight. Um, and yeah, get it sent to their warehouse hopefully tomorrow if they open. I'm going to have to make sure or maybe even Monday. Um, so yeah, that's really cool for those that like aren't on the Gold Coast and want to contribute. I don't know if you can actually, can you, if you're interstate book, um, like a Coles delivery from another state. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could. So there's an option. If you are interstate and you want to contribute in some way, then you can definitely do that. Obviously like baby give back isn't like the only, um, place that's like accepting it. So you'll have to look it up, but I just know from watching their stories today that they are accepting it. So yeah, that's amazing. I'm gonna be definitely doing that tonight. Also, I wanna try these so bad. It has been killing me to try these freaking donuts. I had a bite of one in the car, but I couldn't bite the um, other one because it was all creamy. <gasps> okay, so I got, I can't even remember. Some like nougat, almond, white chocolate thing. And then this one's kind of like that Vovo. Is that how you say it? It's like coconut, jammy, kind of like the biscuit. Oh my God. Fuck. Their donuts are really good, by the way. Mmm. It tastes like the biscuit. That is so good. Let me try more of the other one. Might put a movie on and eat these tonight. Mmm. I'm going in for more. Holy shit. Honestly, go to Nodo right now. Oh, that is so good. No. Oh my god. 
Okay. I'm gonna unpack and then I'll talk to you later. This is your reminder to clean out your dirty makeup case. It wasn't too bad before, like I gave it a good wipe down, but I cleaned like all of my makeup. And oh my God, it just looks so clean. So I'm gonna put them all back in. I was gonna like declutter and like take out stuff that I don't use all the time. And I kind of tried to, like I haven't really used that foundation in a while. Um, let me put that in there. Rust stuff, lip liners. They're my favorites. Oh, haven't used that, but I don't really use um, like black felt tip liners, but I'll keep them in there anyways. Um, oh, yep, I like that lip liner. Professional. Actually, I'm gonna, oh, I've got a bit left of that. I've got a top up as well. Oh my God, remember these? I don't know why I've got two, but I used to put these on my inner corner. I don't really use it anymore that much. I think that era is a bit over. <laughs> um, this flawless filter, love this setting spray, Laura Mercier powder, press powder, put that in there, sharpener. What else do we have here? I don't really use that that often. Why do I need two of them in there? I do not. Lip oil, Chanel bronzer. Yep. Um, beauty blender. Put that in there. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, that's so much better because it was like overflowing and it wouldn't zip up. Now I just need to go through my brushes and I'll clean them, but I'm going to do that tonight. Can I just quickly say, we don't deserve mums. Like, <laughs> bless her. She was like, what are you doing for dinner? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm really, really busy. I've been editing the vlog. I've just been like cleaning the apartment. I was like, I don't know. I might just have one of my meals in the fridge, like just really busy. And she's like, oh, I'll cook you. We're having fish. Um, and I was going to go over there, but I was like, oh, I'll probably just, it's fine. I'll just have dinner here tonight. Maybe I'll come over tomorrow. And she was like, oh, I'll just bring it to you. So she's brought me what they had for dinner, which is snapper, cream potato, and like an avocado salad. Just like, why are mums the best thing ever? Like, we just don't deserve mums. Honestly, they're the best. I'm so freaking excited. It's exactly what I felt like as well when she said she was making it, but I just, yeah, I just had so much to do. Like this afternoon I went for a walk and I actually got carried away and I think I did like 8Ks because I was just, yeah, I was listening to podcasts and just, yeah, I just kept on walking. I didn't have my Apple Watch so like I didn't know how many kilometers I was doing. I like looked at the time so I just got carried away and I was like, holy shit, it's been like literally almost an hour and a half walking. And then I got back, I cleaned all my brushes. Reminder, clean your brushes and change your pillowcases. Um good for your skin and you should just be doing it regularly I'm gonna go do that now actually um and yeah I've just been like editing chilling but yeah I've just been like editing and like cleaning my apartment like putting all clothes away doing the washing and then I just got that delivered and I'm so grateful and so hungry I think I actually might put on love is blind on Netflix because so many people are talking about it on TikTok and it's giving me FOMO. So I'm going to put that on. I'm pretty sure I've watched a couple of episodes from like an older season. Like I know what it is, um, but apparently like this new season that everyone's watching is like really good. So I'm going to put that on, eat my dinner and yeah, I'll probably chat to you guys tomorrow. Hello from my room. I never vlog at night, like especially it's 1030, but obviously Peter's not here my first night alone um i just went and did my skincare i popped on some teeth whitening strips i got some zit stickers on so i'm getting like a blind pimple so hopefully that works and it just zaps them before they form um i'm just planning my week next week currently editing the vlog that you're watching um, I ended up starting to watch um, Love is Blind. 
And I think I finished the first episode because I um, finished eating. I only just watched it while I was eating and then stuck back into editing. Um, but yeah, it's such a weird concept of a show. But I will watch it. Like, I'm just really interested in, like, the last bit where they meet each other for the first time. I don't even know if this lighting's good. I feel like I need to change the colour because it kind of looks really, like, warm. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh. I look like a ghost. Oh, that just looks like I'm in a hospital. Don't you reckon? My hair is so oily, by the way. Oh, oh, that's giving me like euphoria vibes. Even though I haven't watched it, I, I know another unpopular opinion. I, oh my god, this really enhances my pimples. Love that for me. Um, I'm changing the line. Yeah, I don't know if I like Euphoria. Like, I'm sure, like, the storyline and stuff is good. Peter's actually watching it. He really likes it. But he's, like, a show, like, a series type of person. Like, he's always watching a TV series. But I... I don't know. I'm just not really, like, a Netflix or, like, movie type of person. Like, I would much prefer to watch YouTube. Or, like, I'd much prefer to, like, read a book. Or... I don't know, like I just, I have an attention span of like a one year old. Like I just can't focus on something for 40 minutes. Unless it's reality TV, that's completely different. That shit I can watch for hours. But yeah, TV series, not so much. But I just don't really like like dark shows like that. Like it just doesn't really interest me. I ended up watching like three quarters of the first episode and I was just like, this is not for me. Um, yeah, and Peter just watches it at night on the laptop and I just read my book. <laughs> Every night he's like watching it. There has been like some like scenes and stuff that I'd tune into because they look like hectic. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. Slash just not really my vibe um, of show, I guess. Um, what else was I saying? Oh yeah, tomorrow Riley and I are going to puppy yoga I know don't because that is going to be literally the cutest thing I've ever seen it's held by the animal welfare league creating brighter futures for animals in need 11 to 1145 enjoy a morning spent doing puppy yoga with yoga adventures and help us build awareness for the wonderful animals at Australia animal welfare league Queensland like what um but yeah i'm gonna go to bed now and i will talk to you guys in the morning good morning everyone so riley's actually here so i'm rushing out the house we're going to puppy yoga this morning um which is really exciting i'm really excited it's in cool and gutter she was invited to it via email through the queensland no animal welfare league queensland um, and Riley's like, I'm literally going to cry. Like, let's go. So yeah, we're going to go do that this morning and then maybe go for a walk along the beach, get an acai bowl. Um, she's just asked for a long black because she didn't have time. And I just, I'm not sure like if that, if she's even going to like that. Maybe I'll put an ice cube in it. I don't have any more like normal pods. So I used a decaf pod and um instant coffee she's probably gonna hate me you know what we could have just gone through maccas i just realized that <laughs> she's probably gonna have to do that anyways i gotta go i will vlog it and i will yeah speak to you guys later really quickly here's my outfit wearing remy tights the essentials merch um a tank and then just like a crop underneath Cute. Hopefully she likes his coffee. Otherwise, we're going through Maccas. I'm scared now. Hi. Oh, there's my um, sunscreen. Jazz walked past my car and I put my window down and went, yeah. And then a group of people have gone. I didn't hear you there. say that. Like that family getting in the car, they've gone. I didn't like, hear you say that because I didn't know you were here. And I was like, yeah, I was so confused. Um, What's okay. the address quickly? Just so I can put it in. Um, Griffith Street? I think it's like 1 40. Should I go around the, the water? Should I just the go the fast, all right. fastest way, eh? Yeah.
yeah, fastest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I didn't have any more like normal pods, so I only had decaf, but I added two things of instant coffee. I don't know how to make Dude. it. I know. But then I just realized Maccas is right there, dude. Yeah, but are we gonna have time? Yeah, no. What is, I'm scared it's gonna burn my mouth. I put ice in it. So it's one decaf pod, two. No, one long, like I clicked the long black yes. on decaf and then I added hot water and then two spoons of like espresso. With ice. Yeah, with one So basically, of ice. you're a kid making a coffee. Because that's something I could do. I'm scared to sit through that, actually. I've never... Because you... Wait, let me try it first. That's going to burn me. Can I just open it? It smells like chocolate for some reason. Did that come out? Is it wrong? Is it wrong? That is disgusting. It's not coming out. It tastes like... It's not... It's I mean, not it's chocolate. Not... You might... Dude? Is that hot? You burnt me. Okay, I knew I couldn't trust your temperature. Like it it's looks all right. So, it looks like here, syrup. Add some, add some water in it. It's here. all strong. Ready? Oh, I'm burnt, burnt now. I knew you would have made it hot. Good. Oh. Is it wrong? It's just really. It's like strong instant. Oh. Which like I used to drink. Like that is fun. That'll be fun. I don't know. I don't know how you drink in like long wax. To be honest, do you? It want just that? looks wrong. Do like you? if you, <laughs> it's like, like it's like like <laughs> it looks like sewer. Like you know. Oh ah. my god. Okay, here. Do you want this or what? Well, I'm scared now. No, you'll be putting the lid on. Will I? Yeah. It'll well, be, it'll all be I really cold. needed was like a little hit of like you know. Bit of caffeine, so it should do the trick. Thank oh, you, anyway. Oh my god. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna go to puppy yoga now, so I'll see if I can vlog. Knocked it. Yeah, it was. I saw the lens It was coat chewing my little oh, no. um, puff thing. Oh my god, guys, that was so fucking cute. That I didn't even cute. think we really did yoga properly the whole time because oh, we were just. I think the instructor the was a bit mad at me. <laughs> I just got the vibe. I literally that didn't do one so thing. So cute. But apparently, like, you can actually go and like, is it like a UK yeah. and you can go often. That's how the, like, that's um, the studio. The girls from the social agent. Oh, that's not the social agent. So yeah. what are they? The can. The Kin Agency? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, the Kin Agency. Yeah. yeah, that's how the girls from the Kin Agency found it. They'd gone to one. So, what, every single yoga session, the dogs just come in? Not all of them. Just like they must do like three uh, back to back or something okay. on like the weekend. Yeah, it was but so you can cute. pay to do it with them. So cute. Definitely recommend. Yeah. That was the cutest thing ever. Their eyes, eh? I, know. I just wanted to take them all home though. That was the issue. Imagine. Wilson and Percy. Well, they're all up friend. for adoption. And so, better if I just rocked up home with a puppy. So cute. Um, we're gonna go to Salt Mill. Actually, no, we're gonna go for a walk first. I don't want to do that. Why? It's a nice I'd day. Rather have, I'd rather have Avon toast and um, croissant. Look at the weather, dude. Yeah, I know. Okay, we're going for a walk, and then we can get Avon toast. What is that? Probably fur, to be honest. Yeah, dog, my lens. Dog saliva. Okay. Hello. So I just pulled up to Barker's house. I haven't actually vlogged the last couple times I've been here. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oops. Anyways, I just went to Salt Mill with Riley. We got acai bowls and Avon toast. It was yum. And then we went for a walk along the beach. Oh, I think I've got like makeup marks from my glasses. Then I got a call from Barker saying, hey, I just made fresh donuts if you want to come over. And I was just like, absolutely so i've just pulled up now um maybe i'll bring this in because they gave me a free croissant at salt mill i probably won't eat it um where are my keys here oh my god i'm literally so full one 
just do that. But never full enough for donuts. So, I'm gonna go in. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> just like, yum. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. How cute is this little, it's actually a top, but I'm wearing it as a dress today. And I don't usually wear dresses. Like, I'm not a dress person, as you probably already know. Like, I never buy dresses, wear dresses, but this is a top that I got from, I think it's Naked, Noosa Naked. And it's like a gorgeous, like, linen top, but like, obviously, I'm wearing it as a dress. And I've just got a little bandeau underneath. I absolutely love it. So cute. Wearing my little slides. Um, I'm going to go to the Hota Markets today. Riley's. Well, I was going to go with Riley, but she's got a shoot this morning. So I thought I would just go because I need to get like fresh fruit and veg anyways. Like I need to go do my shopping. So yeah, I thought I'd check it out, see what's there. Maybe go grab a coffee or something. So yeah, that's the plans. I'm not wearing any makeup. I was going to go in active wear, but then I was like... No, I actually want to look cute for once and not be wearing active wear because I feel like I wear it every single day and I don't even really wear normal clothes. Like if I'm not in an oversized tee and like shorts or like any sort of active wear, like I wear my pajamas. Like there's no in between. So I just thought I'd, you know, dress a little bit cute today. Um, yeah, that's it. I will obviously vlog when I get there. Hopefully it's not wet. I haven't actually seen the weather today, but hopefully it's sunny. <laughs> um, no, I think it is. So, yeah, I will see you guys when I'm there. Guys, I literally had to leave because I was sweating. Like, it is that hot. Like, my knees, oh my God, my knees are leaking with sweat. Oh my God. Um, I probably, if I go again, like, it was cool. Like, really cool. There was lots of food stalls and stuff like that. But I feel like if I went again, I'd have to go earlier just because I feel like all the fresh produce was kind of, like, majority gone. It was just kind of, like, left with, well, not the scraps, but, you know, like, not the best fruit and veg. Um, but I did end up getting, I'll show you. So I got some, I couldn't find any blueberries. I went to quite a few stalls, and the only stall that I went to is blueberries were like a bit um moldy so i only got strawberries big strawberries i got some bananas organic bananas and then i got some there was this really cool like herb nut stall and i was really tempted to buy the whole stall i was like am i really gonna use all these probably not so i just walked out with some organic oats because i needed some more anyways i usually just get like the um Woolworths macro organic rolled oats so I just got a bunch of them a bunch of them <laughs> I don't know how many grams or so I got Ooh, people all around me um, and then I just got a massive sourdough bread which I'm gonna take to mum's because she loves sourdough loves her bread so I'll cut her half and then I'll take half of myself um, I'm going to go for a walk. The weather is amazing. But yeah, that was my little experience. Again, I went to Hota Markets um, on Bundle Road in Surface. It was very busy. I feel like next time I come, I'll, I'd probably want to come a bit earlier. Like, it pretty much closes in like half an hour. So, um, yeah. Glad I came. Probably would not recommend wearing linen or long sleeves because, yeah, I was dripping. It was so hot. Okay, gotta go. Cars are pulling up left, right, and center, but um, yeah. Okay, I just finished shopping, got a few things from Woolies, and then I went into Mecca. And like everything that I've wanted to get was just like all in stock, except for one thing that I didn't have at that particular Mecca. So I will show you guys what I got. I think all of those purchases were influenced by TikTok. Like, I need to get off TikTok. Honestly, like they're all like trending um, products. So yeah, I'll give you a haul when I get home. I might film a little TikTok unboxing it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go home and have some avo. I just bought a fresh avo on that sourdough bread that I got. Oh, I should have got feta. That's all right. Avo, salt and pepper. Yep. 
I'm really excited for that. I also went to, I'll show you guys these because they're not like wrapped up. I got, I hope no one's waiting for my park. Um, okay, yeah, that's just woolly stuff. I went to Cotton On to get a clip and I walked out with, yeah, you know. Okay, so I think I should have put these in a separate um, bag, actually, because they're all wet. I just got like the huge, you know, berries that I couldn't find at the markets, grapes. Let me just put them all the one, one spot. Okay, in here. Actually, I did have this on my list and I did get it. Cuticle oil. I've really wanted some, so I went into the body shop. I just like Googled it before I went in and I just looked up cuticle oil and I got this one. I really wanted one that was like a um, brush on one, like not in like a, you know, those like nail polish bottles. So I can just keep it on my bedside table and yeah, keep on top of my cuticles. Because I feel like after like a couple weeks, they start to look a bit like shit. So yeah, hopefully this works. It is the Almond Nail and Cuticle Manicure Oil from The Body Shop. So got that, $12 as well, which is quite cheap. And then I wanted to go into, I just needed like a longer um, hair clip. So I just got this and then there's just so much cute shit at um, Cotton On. So yeah, I got that. And then I got, oh my God, I really wanted some pink socks and I could only find frilly ones, but how cute are these? So I got these gray ones as well. Dunno. Thought they'd be a cute vibe with the new balances and like my pink tee that I wear. So I got them, two for 10. And then I saw these sunnies and I've been wanting to um, get some like smaller sort of frames. So I feel like I always wear these and I don't know where my poppy lissaman ones are. Like I feel like I've either lost them or they're still in my boxes from Perth and I haven't like unpacked them yet. So I don't know where they are, but until I find them, I've just been like literally wearing the shit out of these Louis ones, or I've got like Desi ones, which are quite similar, but I wanted some like smaller ones. And I just, I don't know, the Prada ones, like I like them, but I just feel like I've got a really big head and I feel like some smaller sunnies don't suit me. Like I just feel like it looks a bit wrong, you know? Like I could not wear these without makeup. I don't know, there's just something about them that just, they just give me like luxe, like lunch vibes, but like bougie with full glam, hair out and done. Like, you know, like I couldn't just slap these on and just like go for a walk. I just feel they're just too dressy, you know? So I don't really wear them too often to be honest. And then my Gucci ones that I have that I got like years ago, they're even smaller and I just don't really find myself reaching towards them. Um, so yeah, I found these ones, which were a really nice shape and like a really good size for like a smaller pair of sunnies. So I got these ones. They kind of remind me of, um, those Celine ones. So I thought they were really cute. Like they're like a smallish pair of sunnies, but like not, you know? So I feel like they look really good, like on my head. So I got that one and then I, cause I really liked them. I got the tortoise shell one too. And they were two for 25, which is a bargain. I just feel like for my walks, I just want something a little bit more low key, you know? Anyways, got them quite good. Um, but yeah, I would say a very successful shop. I'm actually really, really excited to try some of those products that I got from Mecca today that I've wanted to try for ages. But like, I'm really rarely, you know, walking through shopping centers and like, usually Peter's with me and I just feel bad like dragging him along because I like to take my time in Mecca especially when I'm like browsing and like not going in there for a certain thing and I'm just like you know just browsing and I hate um like dragging him along with me so I thought today was a perfect opportunity to be honest okay I gotta go because I think someone's actually waiting for my park because it's really busy today I'll show you guys what I got from Mecca. I did my little what, TikTok unboxing. So I got this because everyone raves about it. I feel like I've had this before, like maybe in PR. Not sure. Maybe I gave it away. But yeah, apparently it's really good. So it's the Jet Lag Summer Fridays mask. Excited. I've seen this all over TikTok too. Like 
just people using it under their makeup. It is the Charlotte Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. So yeah, it's a serum that you put on before foundation, I'm pretty sure. Massage a few drops into clean skin morning and evening before your magic moisturizer. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have to be with makeup. So it's just basically a skincare product. But yeah, it was quite pricey. So yeah, we shall see. I'll give you guys a little review. And then everyone raves about these. Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Again, another skincare product. Um, how to use on a no makeup day, apply one to two pumps as the last step of your entire routine. When wearing makeup, evenly distribute formula on fingertip and gently pat on the high points of the face. Oh, so you can use it as like a bit of a highlighter for like a glossy sort of look. That's cool. Okay. And then I just got a top up of my favorite um, bronze drops from Drunk Elephant. These are incredible. Um, I put these on over the top of my moisturizer. I mean, not moisturizer, it's SPF when I use that every single morning. It just gives my face a bit of a bronzy sort of glow. Yeah, really, really nice. Love it. And you only need a few drops. Um, highly recommend this one. Love it. I'm just sitting here editing my vlog and I thought I would end it here. I don't really have that much planned for the rest of the day. I'm going to go for a walk later um, and I'm, yeah, spending the night with my friend Vic. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's, it was quite a jam-packed, I guess, like fun vlog. It kind of just reminds me of, you know, like not keto days, but you know, when I just used to vlog absolutely everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this little fun vlog and I will see you guys next week. Bye.